So today, we are drawing reflections. Now, reflections in math are a lot like reflections in real life. All right, what we're trying to do is make the mirror image of a picture or a figure. For example, draw the image of triangle ABC, that's this triangle here, after a reflection across the y-axis. Okay, so whenever we are doing a reflection, the first thing we really need to know is where is the mirror? In other words, which line are we reflecting across? In this case, it's the y-axis. So you can imagine this, the y-axis, is your mirror. Okay, so what is ever on the left side of the mirror is going to reflect over on the right side. Whatever is on the right side is going to reflect over on the left side. All right, so let's do this. Now, if you're going to reflect a point across this line, for example, point A, you need to see that point A is one, two, three, four, five steps away from the mirror. If we walk straight to the mirror, it's five steps away. That means its reflection is going to be five steps away from the mirror on the other side. Okay, so this point right here is one, two, three, four, five steps away on the left side. A prime is going to be one, two, three, four, five steps away on the other side. And again, A prime is the reflection of A, and we label it with the prime mark because we want to show that it's different than the original A point. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do B. B is one, two, three, four, five, six steps away from the mirror on the left side. So its reflection is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six steps away from the mirror on the right side. And then finally, C. C is one step away from the mirror on the right side. So its reflection is going to be one step away from the mirror on the left side. There's my C prime. All right. So once I connect these points up, we'll have my reflected triangle. And there they are. OK. And you can kind of see this with a transparency if you want to kind of visualize this. So what you do is you just have the original triangle right there. And if you draw in your line of reflection on here, then when you reflect it, just make sure the line of reflection matches up. And boom, there it is. All right. So notice. The original triangle and the reflected triangle are the exact same size and shape. It's just it's oriented in reverse. In other words, it's the mirror image of it. But notice, the side lengths of this new triangle is the same as the side lengths of the original triangle. And the angles of all the original triangle's angle measures are all the same as the new triangle's angle measures. All right. So that's going to help us answer this next set of questions. If the length of segment AB, that's this length, is about 6.1 units, how long is the length of A prime B prime? So that'd be this length. Notice, these two should be the same because, again, the triangles are congruent. So this side right here is the same length as this side right here. So if AB is 6.1, A pi a prime B prime should also be 6.1 units. All right. And if the measure of angle C is 50 degrees, that's this angle right here. It's a little hard to see because it's kind of in the middle there. What's the measure of angle C prime? That's this angle right here of the reflected triangle. Again, the triangles are congruent. And those angles should be the same. Because look, this angle right here, when I reflect it, is the same part of the triangle on the reflected triangle. So if C has an angle measure of 50 degrees, C prime should also have an angle measure of 50 degrees. OK? Good. So now, let's do a second example. But this time, it's going to be the exact opposite. So notice, this time it says, describe the reflection that maps triangle DEF onto triangle D prime, E prime, F prime. So this time I give you the image, the shape and its reflection. And what you have to do is describe what happened to it. All right. So first thing you need to do is look for which one is the original and which one is the reflection. So notice, I've got D here and I've got D prime here. So we know we started with this one and then we ended up on that one. 
The second thing you need to know is since it's a reflection, notice D, E, and F are oriented this way, whereas the reflected one is upside down. And notice it's vertically upside down. All right, that means my line of reflection is going to go right in between it. And if you really pay attention, it's got to be right here. Because look, D is two steps away from this line, the x-axis. And D prime is two steps away from the x-axis, but on the other side. Same with E and F. E is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps away. E prime is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps away on the other side. And F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps away. F prime is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps away also. So I think we found it. So to describe the, this reflection, we would say it's reflected across the x-axis. And that's enough to describe the reflection, because all we need to do is state where we are reflecting the image across. All right, And if you want to check just to make sure, what we can do is take a little transparency here. And I'm going to draw in my line of reflection, which is the x-axis. And hopefully, if I reflect it over that line, it should end up right on this other one. And notice, it does. All right? So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.